Finally, I just want to say a word to children about their attitude to their parents. Uh, the Bible reveals that from the point of view of human relationships, there is scarcely anything more important and decisive in life than the blessing of parents on their children. This is what Paul says in Ephesians 6, verses 1 through 3. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, that it may go well with you, and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. Do you want it to go well with you? Do you want to enjoy life and have a long life? Well, there's a principle. Honor your father and mother. Let me say from personal observation in many, many lives, I have never met a person who dishonored father and mother and who knew what it was for it to go well with that person to have a long life. I've met Christians who claim to be committed to Jesus Christ, used the language of salvation, and even I, I would say at times sought to serve the Lord. But if they did not cultivate a right attitude and a relationship with their parents, the real choicest blessings of God were withheld from that life. Your attitude to your parents and their attitude to you is going to make a great difference to the whole course of your life. So covet the blessing of your parents. Do everything you can to gain their blessing. Sometimes that will mean patience, it may mean submitting to things that you don't altogether agree with. And I agree there are some situations in which a child who's a believer just cannot yield to some of the requirements of parents. But nevertheless, do everything in your power to cultivate the right attitude to your parents. I went through this when I became a believer. My parents did not believe in the same sense that I did. For a time, I almost felt that I didn't owe them anything. But God dealt with me about that. And I thank God that later in life, I cultivated an attitude of honoring both my parents. I believe both of them ultimately came into faith. I believe also that that has been a major factor in God's blessing on my life.